uh, the two astronauts in the Cupola workstation operating today's uh, the robotic arm for capture today, NASA astronaut Jack Fisher and NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson standing by. In station on two for Black Bravo, the O3 camera on monitor one is uh, about the same and on monitor 309 has converged and is lining up nicely. Confirmation from Peggy Whitson aboard the International Space Station now to Nicole Mann, the Capcom. SpaceX uh, departed the 250-meter holding point a few minutes ago, now passing, just about to pass, the keep-out sphere. Uh, this is a 200-meter uh, sort of uh, circle or ellipsoid around this craft. Inside the 200-meter keep-out sphere, crew now has authority to issue an abort if no calm with Houston and light is outside the corridor. And station copies. SpaceX about to uh, get about now 102 meters away from this space station. Now uh, the space station and the Dragon cargo vehicle on the eastern border of Egypt now passing right over the Red Sea. And still, with just a little bit of light shining upon the spacecraft, uh, confirmation from Peggy Whitson aboard the International Space Station that Dragon is indeed holding at the 30-meter point. Um, now the International Space Station and the spacecraft will cross into an orbital nighttime space station at 256 statute miles uh, above the Earth, now over the northern border of China. We'll start seeing the, the view of the Dragon spacecraft just get a little bit darker as uh, the teams assess uh, whether or not to depart the 30-meter uh, holding point. Uh, the SpaceX uh, Dragon spacecraft has just arrived to its capture position. Until we have good lighting. We concur. And movement of the station's robotic arm has begun. Confirmation from uh, Capcom Nicole Mann, uh, Peggy Whitson aboard the International Space Station relaying that information. Uh, her, both Peggy Whitson and Jack Fisher now in the Cupola workstation uh, using the robo robotic arm today uh, to capture SpaceX. Again, we're looking at a capture time a little bit ahead of schedule originally planned for 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, station's robotic arm is currently in movement. Uh, Dragon is holding at its capture position, everything looking nominal so far. We're rel relaying the uh, capture information with for to you step by step uh, as we start getting closer uh, to capturing the Dragon today. Now three meters away from capture. two meters from capture. One meter to capture.
Reporting a good alignment so far. Over the pin. Capture in progress. Still holding, awaiting for the snares to close. And Houston Station on two, capture complete. Go for post capture configure reconfiguration. Houston copy is capture complete. And Houston, just a few words about catching this dragon. We want to thank the entire team on the ground that made this possible, both in Hawthorne and Houston. Really around the whole world, from support in Canada for this wonderful robotic arm, Kennedy Space Center's launch support, to countless organizations which re prepared the experiments in cargo. These people have supplied us with a vast amount of science and supplies, really fuel for the engine and innovation we get to call home, the International Space Station. Fifteen years to the day after Peggy's first flight here, the ISS is continually improving it in its mission of discovery. So for that, we thank our team. We also want to note the special significance of SpaceX 11, which, if we follow the naming convention of the artist Prince, could be called the SpaceX formerly known as SpaceX 4. That's right, it's flying its second mission to the ISS, launched off a of first stage which landed back at Kennedy Space Center for its next flight. The last time we had a return visitor to the ISS was STS-135 in July of 2011, when Atlanta secured the shuttle's legendary place in history. We have a new generation of vehicles now, led by commercial partners like SpaceX, as they build the infrastructure that will carry us into the future of exploration. So again, thank you to the team, and congratulations to the team for a job well done. Now we better get back to work. We have a lot of stuff to unload.